In this video, we're going to talk about the stagger special property, which allows you to offset the start time of multiple targets in the same tween. It's super cool. So in this demo here, you'll notice we have a number of colored freds down at the bottom. And in the HTML, we have a div with an ID of freds. And then we have just a bunch of images, which are just, you know, a handful of different SVGs, okay? So just remember, there's a bunch of image tags inside a div that has an ID of freds. So let's jump over to our JavaScript. And I want to show you that I have a basic tween here already using gsap.2. And for the target, I'm using hash freds space image. And that just means we're using a CSS selector to get every image inside the div with the ID of freds. Here, we're just specifying that they're going to animate to a Y of negative 100. Without a duration, they're going to have a duration of half a second by default. So a Y of negative 100 is going to move them up a bit. So if I hit run, you'll see that they're going to all move up at the same time. Okay, so now we're animating multiple things inside one tween. Well, to make this a little bit more interesting, I'm going to add in a stagger special property. And I'm going to say that the value here is going to be 0 0.5. So that means there's going to be half a second stagger, meaning half a second of time between the start of each object's animation. So let's hit run. And now you'll see they're just going to trickle in one after the other. Okay. Um, if I want them to overlap a little bit more, um, I'm going to make a smaller stagger amount. So let's make that. Uh, 0 0.1 all right so that's a tenth of a second and you get this really nice organic sort of build and it makes it look so much better with just that slight slight stagger so here in gsap 3.0 we can add staggers to normal tweens a little migration tip you no longer need the stagger to stagger from or stagger from two methods of gsap 2. now this works fine for basic staggers but what we can do is pass an object in here. So instead of having that 0.1, I want to open up a new object. And I can now say that I'm going to say each is going to be 0.2. And that means that there's going to be 0.2 seconds between the start times of each animation. And it's going to look very similar to what we just had. So let me just run that. All right, cool. If I say each and set it to 1, you're going to get one second in between each one. All right, and the reason I'm doing that is because I want to contrast it with the next property that I'm going to use. Instead of saying each, I'm going to say amount, okay? And if the amount is one, that means that the start times of all the animations are going to be evenly dispersed over the course of one second. So let me just hit run, and now you're going to see that they come in a bit quicker, all right? So there's not one second between each of them, they're all sharing one second that they're all going to start within, okay? So it's it's cool to know that. I'm gonna leave this at each though. That's sort of what I prefer for now. It's really just a matter of what you need. And we can also pass in a from property. And by default, the from value is the start. They're gonna animate in left to right. Well, I'm going to say the from is going to be end and what this is going to do take a guess it'll animate them in from the end so the red one goes first and then it goes back and what's really cool is that you can also say center so we can do center and then they're all going to animate in from the center so since there's an even amount we get these pairs okay so blue and pink come up and then purple and orange and then green and red so you can have an incredible amount of control without having to write a ton of code. We don't have to write a for loop or keep track of variables or anything like that. All very straightforward. If I switch this each over to amount, just because it's important to know, remember that all of them are going to start within the 0 0.2 seconds. So it's going to happen pretty quick. Very nice. Oh, and one more value that I forgot. This is actually something that I recommended the API have and that is edges let's run and guess what's gonna happen they're all gonna come in from the edges so you have green and red starting at the same time so really cool that you have this power